Welcome back! The story so far. In the beginning, the universe was created. This made a lot of people very angry and has been generally considered to be a bad idea. Then we found a book in the desert, pre presumably in the desert, and ended up on this island. And we have no idea what it is, where we are, or why we're here. We did, however, find this door in the side of the docks. And we can open it. Let's see if there's something down there. Hmm, sounds like somebody put a stereo uh, down here. As you probably know, um, Mist originally was supposed to have no background music because the uh, Miller Brothers felt that that would break immersion. But um, Ro uh, Robin Miller then wrote some uh, short pieces on uh, his uh, synthesizer and they tried them out and found that in fact it enhanced the atmosphere rather than break it. Uh, broke immersion, so they decided to run with it, and I'm very glad that they did, because it has a very nice atmospheric soundtrack. Even though, unfortunately, the sound quality is not all that great, despite the fact that I'm playing the Masterpiece Edition. Let's see, looks like we found some kind of pool. Some water in there. I guess we could use a drink. And it has a button on the front. Maybe that turns on the bubbles or something. Or not. That's not a pool. Some kind of uh, holographic imaging device. We turn it back on. Yes, we can. Interesting, yet pointless. One of the um, primary differences between the original Myst and the Masterpiece Edition, which I am playing, is the fact that all of the backgrounds have been uh, recreated in 24-bit color, rather than using 8-bit uh, palleted images, so they look a lot better. You can tell, however, that the same was not done for the videos, because the video still appears different, which was necessary to... Uh, accommodate the limited color palette of the original version. But it was done for the rest of the image. Let's see what else is here. Not an awful lot. There is a panel on the wall there. With a note on it. Perhaps we can finally find out, find out uh, some more about where we are. Settings dimensional imager. Well, I guess that refers to uh, the imager that's behind us. Topographical extrusion test. 40. Water turbulent pool. 67. And marker switch diagram. 47. Well, I guess the current setting would be water turbulent pool. But where is that set? I mean, we didn't see any place where you could put 67. Maybe you need to press the button 67 times. That'd be like the worst UI ever. But perhaps there's more to this... ...panel? Because it looks like it has a button on the top left corner. Aha! 67! So that's the water turbulent pool. Let's try the other two settings. Uh, let's see, it was 47 for uh, the marker switch diagram and 40 for topographical extrusion tests. I guess we just change the number and then press this button. Seems to work. Let's see... Oh, the viewer turned off when we did that. Let's see what happens when we turn it back on. Well, the image definitely changed. I suppose that this, then, is a marker switch. Whatever that is. Didn't we see one of those things on the dock in the distance? 
I think we did. Must be important if it's um, displayed here. Unfortunately, all we got is an image. Would have been nice if there was some kind of explanation of what it actually does, but no such luck. Let's see, let's try the uh, topographical extrusion test. I see. Some kind of 3D landscape generation thing. I think this may actually be uh, Mist Island. It's a bit hard to see, but uh, I do believe this to be the case, with this being the uh, mountain on the back. This would be the site where the forest is. The dock is on the opposite end from where we're looking at it now, and the uh, rocket is somewhere around here. Uh, we haven't seen any of those things yet, so if you are uh, watching this Let's Play without having played this game before and have no idea what I'm talking about, so don't worry, we'll get to that later. Although it's a bit weird if this is Mist Island, um, what are these other uh, things near it? Since there aren't any islands nearby as far as we can see. Well, I guess whoever set this thing up was uh, trying to uh, map out the terrain or something. I don't know what purpose this serves. I suppose we could go through all 99 combinations to see if there's a hidden message somewhere. But that's gonna take too much time, and I'm much too eager to see more of this mysterious island. I hope that for whoever lived here, this boat wasn't their only means of getting off the island. Because otherwise they'd be in trouble. And here we have one of those marker switches. Well, I guess that... Uh, must do something. Uh, maybe it marks something, I don't know. Let's see. Well, that was anticlimactic. It didn't do anything. Nope. Oh well, we'll leave it uh, switched on or up or whatever. I don't really know. Maybe it was on when we got here. We'll leave it in the other position anyway. And let's see. Some strange gears over there. That's a bit strange to put that on your island, I think. I mean, I can... Understand, um, you know, forests and buildings. You can't actually look left from here, which is a bit annoying. But why put some giant gears on uh, on your island? The only way that would make sense is if this island is actually the secret base of a James Bond villain, and that's the mechanism that magically turns the whole thing into a, lance, uh, a launching platform for a giant rocket or something. Um, let's see, let's go up these stairs. And I actually want to check out the, um, gears first. Also might give us a nice vantage point, since it's a bit higher. And it looks like there's another one of those marker switches up there. Maybe that one will, uh, do, uh, something more interesting. That's weird. Okay, it's hard to see. One of the annoying things about this game is that, unlike its uh, successor, it really doesn't have enough nodes, enough places where you can stand. So sometimes it's very difficult to get an actually good view of something. What I was talking about, though, is that these two gears do not appear to mesh. So what's the purpose of them? I don't know. There is music, however. And the marker switch. Maybe that turns the gears on. Nope. No such luck. And then over there we can see some of the structures on the island, as well as 
this tall mountain that appears to be on the back of the island. And um, although it's hard to tell that you can, again, because it is really difficult in this game to figure out where you can look sometimes, you can actually look up and see that the mountain has some kind of tower on it. Could be an observatory, I guess, although I don't see uh, a telescope as such. I don't know. Perhaps we'll find out. Doesn't really appear to be anything else here. We can get a nice view of the sunken ship, though. Whoever built this stuff must have really liked, you know, classical designs. It all has a bit of an, an ancient Greek vibe here. Alright, let's uh, head this way. And see what else we might find here. We're now standing pretty much uh, above the door that we went in to the room with the dimensional imager and above the place where we started. And there is a staircase leading up here but we'll explore further in the next video.